what is going on everybody welcome back to the channel welcome back to the vlog you may not be able to see me because it is pitch black outside because it's about 5 30 in the morning now you may be asking yourself michael why are you roaming the streets at 5 30 in the morning and i'm asking myself the same thing but the reason is this This is the reason I'm roaming the streets at 5.30 in the morning. But in all seriousness, what the heck am I doing at the hospital this early when I don't usually come in until like 6.45 or so? Well, today is a little different because I was assigned to do the tumor board, which is the morning conference every single week on Thursday mornings, in which we discuss all of the liver cancer patients and go over all their imaging. So what that entails is the fellow has to put together an entire massive list of all the patients that multiple attendings are going to talk about that morning. So the liver surgeons, the liver internal medicine doctors, the interventional radiologists, radiologists, etc., all discuss these patients in the morning on one big conference. And the reason there's a one big conference is because a lot of these patients are very complicated in the treatment options aren't exactly black and white. So you kind of need a lot of different opinions on how to take care of certain patients. Because after all, nothing usually follows the textbook. So you kind of need to circle the wagons and get your heads together and figure out the best treatment options for these patients. This is what we call the multidisciplinary tumor board, which is what I'm doing today. Okay, cool, Michael, but what the heck are you doing there so early? Well, that's the funny part because they don't really release the list of patients until late Wednesday night, and tumor board is Thursday morning at 7 a.m. Which means I can't really do much because I'm already home by time the patient list is released to all of us. So what it means is I have to wake up super early and get to the hospital and have everything ready by 7 a.m. for this conference. So I don't really have to do much to get the stuff ready, but I do have to go in and open every single patient's MRI and have it preloaded on certain sequences so that people can see them immediately when we talk about the patient and I'm not in there fumbling around looking for sequences and images and all that stuff. The goal is to keep it as streamlined as possible so that we can move from one patient to another because oftentimes there can be upwards of 30 or 40 patients that we need to discuss in the entire hour that we're doing this. And like I said before, some of these patients are very complex and require a lot of thinking and a lot of talking about what the next step is. So I woke up extra early this morning. I got here at like a little after 5 a.m. because I didn't know how long it was going to take me because I've never done this before. And I don't really know how to use this pack system because I've only been here for three months and don't really use it that often for this kind of stuff. So it is now 6.15. I pretty much got the entire list organized. That's why I got some coffee because I obviously got here too early and now I have some free time to kill, which is why I'm just gonna film a video. And also I kind of got a little lucky because we only have like 20 patients today and I was able to do it pretty quickly. And one thing I forgot to add is that I also have to control the entire presentation or the entire Zoom conference. So basically, let's just hope this computer can handle it today because the last couple of weeks, it's been running a little slow and we can't be having a slow computer and a freezy computer when I'm trying to run an important tumor board. One thing I forgot to add is I stayed up a little too late last night because of course, Yell and I had to come over and have some drinks with us and have a nice dinner together. And obviously we stayed up too late because that's what you do when friends are over. And then I had to wake up at like 4.30, get an Uber all the way over here. So I'm a little tired, but coffee will keep me up. We'll finish this at 8 a.m. And the good thing is I don't start clinic until 12 or 1.30 today. And I forgot to mention, I'm on clinic currently. Ah, so hot. Woo! So 
as you can see, it is much brighter out right now compared to what it was earlier. I just finished the tumor board. It's about 8 a.m. I'm headed home right now because, I don't know if you can tell, I didn't shower before I came, I didn't wash my face, didn't do any of that. So I'm going to go home, take a shower, get changed, get freshened up, and come back and get ready for our afternoon of clinic. So maybe I'll take you along for the ride there and show you what a day in the life in clinic is like. Also, I failed to mention how much of a disaster tumor board was because during the middle of the actual tumor board, which we use Zoom for, the Zoom link completely disintegrated about 15 minutes in and would not allow me to log back in when I kept attempting to log back in. However, luckily I had another computer set up in a different room because this happened to one of my co-fellows last week. And when I got to that room, it was logged out because I haven't been in that room for like 30 minutes. So then I had to log back in and it was just an entire unneeded disaster. So hopefully we spoke to a few people to try to get that Zoom link fixed so we don't have this issue again, so we can go through a nice seamless hour of tumor board. Let's just hope it's fixed by the next time I do it. As you can see, I'm a little cleaned up compared to what I was this morning. There's the fit for the day, the clinic fit. So right now I have to go see probably about 15 or so clinic patients. And basically it's like any other clinic or any doctor's office. So in order for us to get these awesome procedures, we have to see these patients in clinic. Well, sort of. So these are all of the outpatient clinic visits and with a little smattering of inpatient visits as well. Most of them are outpatient because this is where we get all of our outpatient procedures, like I said, but a majority of our procedures also come from inpatients that are currently sick in the hospital. So just to give you an example of the two, today I will see a few patients with liver tumors that we are scheduled to do an ablation or embolization on. We also may have a few patients that have fibroids, in which we'll schedule a uterine fibroid embolization. So that's what we do as the outpatient stuff. Furthermore, we may do some follow-up visits with some inpatients that we did some work on while they were in-house in the hospital and have since been discharged. So basically, full day clinic this afternoon. We'll see all these patients and that's it. No procedures today, just clinic. All right, so I just finished with clinic. It wasn't too bad, but it was about four hours worth of seeing patients. We didn't see that many patients, maybe like, I think like 20 patients total. And I did two telehealth visits, which is always fun because, you know, COVID stuff, that's what we have to do now. Not everybody can make it in the hospital. And honestly, telehealth isn't that that. I would almost prefer it if it was just like a simple procedure that way you don't have to go all the way to the hospital to do an entire visit. You can just kind of get it done over the phone. But anyways, you can probably tell that I'm a little on the tired side currently. It's a little cloudy, so it's not projecting the bags under my eyes quite as bad as they are. But it's like 5.30 or something right now, headed home, probably just go ahead and in the day, wait for Andriana to get off work, which is in like an hour, have a nice glass of wine, relax. And I will say it's kind of weird because usually, like the last week or so when I'm on call, I have to come home and I'm always answering pages and all that stuff. But now when I'm just on clinic the whole week, I just come home and I have no responsibility once I get home. I just either read up on some stuff or watch YouTube on the couch or make dinner. Anyways, headed home now. This is just like a short video because honestly, I had a whole bunch of coffee this morning after I was dead tired waking up and then I just got really energized and decided to film some spur of the moment video of tumor board. So there's really no point to this video. So I'll see you all on the next one. Make sure you smash the like, subscribe button, follow me on Instagram if you don't already. And as always, see you twice every single week. See you on the next video. Woo!